morning everybody cat here it is sunday morning it's about 7 25 now second time i've been on here this morning but it's kind of a busy day we've got a lot going on of course i reported on the assassination attempt on president trump there's going to be more information of that coming a little later on Today, we are awaiting Princess Catherine, the Princess of Wales, to be making her appearance at Wimbledon. She is, of course, patron of the All England Club. She's going to be there to watch the men's final and present the award and greet the winners, greet the players. So... Everybody's going to have their eyes on that to see, to see Catherine, see how she's doing, how she's looking. And you know what? In my little world, there's something almost bigger than all of that going on. Have you taken a look at my time loop series? Because if not, you should. It's very compelling. And today... We have what I would consider a direct hit on the time loop. The premise, if you haven't watched the time loop series, is that history doesn't repeat itself, but it kind of rhymes. And down through time, there can be events such that manifest themselves as a historical overlay to previous events and what we've got going on with uh, the Duke and Duchess of Windsor, the um, abdicated king and his wife, Wallace Simpson, and events in their life down through time and how our present-day Duke and Duchess of Sussex, Harry and Meghan, everything from locations to events to photographs to clothes they're wearing not only that but attitudes the kinds of things that they're engaged in the kind of deception that we've uncovered all around in both situations there's there's so much it's so compelling and interesting you really got to check out the Time Loop series. And today, there's been a very interesting event. Not long ago, I did a video and I was talking about Harry and Meghan and in terms of the Time Loop and what I expect to see next, if the Time Loop stays true. Now, what I expected to see next and what I stated in the video was... Harry and Meghan are getting desperate. The money's running out. They need sympathy from the public. They need attention. They need cash. What are they going to do? Well, way back. Way back. I can't remember. I think it was 1935 or 36, something. Anyway, the Windsors were staying with friends and incredibly um, friends in London and incredibly uh, Wallace had brought just a little cardboard box of a bunch of her jewels worth millions um, while they were staying and instead of putting it in the safe that was available in the house I mean their friends this is a big mansion house right outside of London and um no, didn't put it in the safe. She tucked the box under her bed. Imperceptibly, they went out to dinner and somehow there was a robbery and don't you know, all of Wallace's jewels were missing. Well, it turned out, and I've done, uh, I've done a video about this. Many years later, after... Well, first of all, okay, so they made a claim to the police of what was missing and so on. And right from the start, the whole thing looked fishy, but hey, it's the ex-king. You, you know, are you really gonna 
and at that time, there was still a lot of deference towards royalty and stuff. So nobody was going to question the fact that there had been a robbery and these things were taken. So in it took a little while, but uh, Edward and Wallace did receive insurance money. Now, many years later, in the early 80s, after Wallace had died, there was a uh, an auction at Sud Sudbys of some of her jewels and don't you know what turned up the jewels that were supposed to have been stolen they conducted a fraud they conducted a fraud to get some easy money and my premise was this may you know harry and megan are desperate and what what could they might do and i said i wouldn't be surprised if we saw a robbery if this was the next big dramatic event that, you know, Megan, oh, we've been robbed. Well, what would she use? Well, of course, to get the public sympathy, um, she would use the Diana's d jewels that she supposedly owns. And I said then, and I'll say it again, everything she owns are replicas. They're not the real thing. Diana's aquamar aquamarine ring the butterfly earrings, the tank watch. All of those are replicas. They are not the original jewels. They are not Diana's original jewels. But I had said if the time loop held true, this is what would happen. And those would be what Megan would claim was stolen. And we know, a lot of us know, that the fraud going on, and we know Harry and Megan are not opposed to fraudulent behavior. This would be something right up their alley. And who's going to question them? Who's going to question Diana's jewels? Most Americans have never seen the real things. So, you know, it's kind of a, kind of an easy shot, shot at it, you know, and Harry and Meghan would think so, right? So anyway, that's the premise of all of that. And that's what I've said in the past. Now, I'm not the only one talking about Harry and or, uh, Wallace and Edward. Many people have written about them down through time because it's a very interesting and compelling story. Well, so today I go to, you know, turn on the computer, look on the Daily Mail online. And uh, what do I see? Let me just switch my screen here. Hang on. Oh, I can't now. Damn it. Well, I'll read it to you and it'll be, it's the screenshot. It's the, you know, now exclusive. Wallace Simpson was behind the $17 million, or 17 million pound jewel robbery. The explosive clues that link the Duchess of Sussex to the theft of her own jewelry are revealed in book. Now, here's the funny thing about it. Very shortly after I took this screenshot, they, the Daily Mail did correct it and put Duchess of Windsor to the theft of her own jewelry are revealed in the book because the book is about the Duchess of Windsor. But the fact that the person writing this article, doing the headline, put Sussex in, didn't even notice it. After editing, didn't even notice that Sussex was there. And for a brief moment, put that into, you know, into the airwaves, out into the ether. The explosive clues that link the Duchess of Sussex to the theft of her own jewelry are revealed in book. It's quite interesting. If you believe a little bit in the woo-woo and how things are connected in a very sort of quantum physics kind of a way, you'll understand the time loop and you'll understand why this headline is compelling. It's like, it's like I see something of that nature as a possible event with Harry and Meghan in the historical overlay with the Windsors that that 
could be the next event that we see in the progression of the time loop. And then here, it bleeds through. It bleeds through to the public, like what I'm thinking, what others are thinking. Maybe it's what Megan's thinking that we might have to do. And here it comes in print. It's just one of those kind of spooky woo-woo things, but considering all the work I've done on the time loop and what I'm predicting is going to come next, it was just really funny in the timing and the placement to see this headline. And uh, I just think it's a hoot. Go and watch the time loop series. I'm going to be adding this one to the playlist. It's pretty incredible stuff. Do we know what Harry and Meghan are going to do next? We just might. Have a great day, everybody. Leave me a comment. I want to know what you're thinking about all of this. Like, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Happy Sunday, everybody.